I'm Catherine from Becoming You Blog and today I'm going to help you mums get a little bit more in touch with apps that are useful for mums. So obviously, as with most moms, the biggest users of my iPad are my children and they seem to have taken over and the vast majority of apps on my iPad are actually games. I try and have a slant towards more educational games and I also make sure that they each have limited amount of time on the iPad. What is nice is that there's so many educational options in terms of apps and one of my favorites is called Barefoot Atlas. Basically, Barefoot Atlas is a globe that they can spin around and they can select a different country or a different little element on the country and they can learn about the world. So it's a very visual um, experience of our world and it's interactive, which is amazing. Um, so for instance, if they go to Africa, they can click on Mali, the Timbuktu, and they can find out the great mosque of Dijen. And they can, the, the volume normally plays the little clip and they can hear some music from that country and they can sort of learn a little bit more about the people there. They see the flag for that country. They love it. They, they spend a lot of time and I think it's very educational so I feel very good about myself as a mother. <laughs> Another app which my kids really love is called Dinopedia and it's all about dinosaurs and different stories and facts and pictures and information about all the different dinosaurs and it's actually been quite educational for me because I hadn't ever heard of the Mamontosaurus or whatever. <laughs> it gives you the stats, it tells you some fun facts about them. So Dinopedia is a great app for learning a little bit more about dinosaurs and educating yourself as a parent in the process. Right, so another idea that I have been trying to implement a little bit more into my own life is to download books from via the Kindle app onto my iPad, which means you don't have to have a separate Kindle, you can actually use your iPad for reading. So while you're waiting outside swimming lessons or ballet lessons, you can actually catch up on your novel. It's quite easy to, to just download actually from anywhere. So even if you're on holiday and you run out of the, you finish the first book in a trilogy, you can catch up with the second book. Right, so one of the apps that I like using often is Instagram. I use it on my phone, but you can also use it on your iPad. I'll just show it to you quickly on your iPad. Basically what it is, is it allows you to take photographs on the go and share them automatically to your Twitter and your Facebook accounts. Um, and also it shows up on Instagram. It's a really fun visual kind of way of, of doing things. So you'll take a photo um, and you can edit it. You can put on a different filter um, and express your creativity that way. So I like to share things that are happening behind the scenes for my blog, often on my Instagram account. Um, but if you are a mum and you're just wanting to follow your friends and your family, it's a way of kind of connecting with your friends who are situated around the world in a really quick and visual way, and it's lots of fun. And Instagram's also a really fun way of just following other bloggers or celebrities to see kind of what's going on behind the, the scenes of their lives. And sometimes you can be just following very creative people who just take really interesting photographs and you can kind of get to know them around the world. A new app that I've recently discovered, which I've decided to start bringing into my own life and make myself a little bit more organized, is called Wanderlist. And basically what it is, it allows you to keep all your lists that you write in various different pieces of paper and notebooks around the, the house and on the fridge and next to the telephone, all in one place. And then you can sync them to your phone and your iPad. And so a nice way to do this for moms is for a shopping list. So you're wanting to make sure that you and your husband don't both go to the shops at the same time and buy the same things. You can kind of just keep an item, keep a shopping list here. So say for instance, you build a little list. And then as you go through it and you check off one, it will complete it for you. So that's quite nice and it kind of keeps it all in one space. Um, other items you can do are work. So for instance, you need to send an email to publisher or you need to contact caterer, whatever it is. You can keep your little list going and then obviously tick it off as soon as you're done. Right, so those are all the apps that I think could add to your life as a mum that would help you keep more organised and that would make your day-to-day your -day lives just much easier. So why not try one of these apps today?